She can't kill me, right? People break up all the time. I wanted to love her. I tried to love her. I couldn't love her. <laughs> Did you tell me you loved her? No, I had no choice. She squeezed it out of me. She tell me she loved me. All right. Eventually, you have to come back with, well, I love you. You can only hold out for so long. I didn't even ask her out. She asked me out for You're so too long. nice a guy. I am. I'm a nice guy. And then she seduced me. She seduced me. Look at I'm him. I'm sitting on the couch. She's on the chair. Look, do I have to break up with her in person? Can't I do it over the phone? I, I have no stomach for these things. There's this guy who lives in my building who I was introduced to a couple years ago by a friend. After we met, whenever we'd run into each other in the street, we would stop and we would chat a little bit. Then one day, he doesn't nod. He went from nods to nothing. No, I know who nods to nothing. And now there's... <laughs> George is singing. I think you absolutely have to say something to this guy. Confront him. Really? Yes. Would you do that? If I was a different person. <laughs> <laughs> Not as George. Someone else. I'm out of there. I did it. That's all. You did I'm out of there. I started with the word listen. I uh -huh. said... She started to cry, and I weakened a little bit. I almost relented, but the voice, Jerry, the voice said, keep going. It's like I was making a prison break, you know, and I'm... I'm <laughs> a prison break. He's so dramatic. I mean, you know? <laughs> and the cursing started. I oh. Said, fire, 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 fire. She's firing at me from the guard towers. Son of a bang! Son of a bang! <laughs> I left some books in her apartment. <laughs> So? It's so awkward and you know, it could be dangerous. <laughs> so forget about the books. Right? Better say bye to the books. They're my books. <laughs> so how was it? You didn't do anything. Touch this, feel that, 75 bucks. <laughs> huh? Am I seeing Sinatra in that? <laughs> being entertained? I don't understand this. I'm only paying half. He's a doctor. You gotta pay what he says. Oh, no, no, no. I pay what I say. <laughs> what? And I'll tell you what, you don't have to pay me back the 35 I gave to the chiropractor for the rest of your bill. You paid that crook? He didn't do anything, Jerry. He's more mad that. about that. I told you to do that. You know, I've been thinking. I cannot envision any circumstance in which I'll ever have the opportunity to have sex again. <laughs> How's it gonna happen? What? Yo, George is my favorite. I like George more than Jerry. If I like the only, I know I'm not the only person who feels that way. Loves the make stuff. What is that song? It's from Les Misérables. I went to see it last week. I can't get it out of my head. I just keep singing it over and over. It just comes out. I have no control over it. Master of the house, keeper of the air. Look at George! You look amazing! This is huge! It's fabulous. George approves. I'm not even gonna ask you. I wanna know, but I'm not gonna ask. You'll tell me when you feel comfortable. So what was it, 400? <laughs> Did you pay 500 for this? Don't tell him. Over six? Did you pay $700 for this jacket? Is that what you're saying to me? You are sick! Is that what you're saying this jacket? <laughs> It's a great thrill to meet you. <laughs> but I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> George is like, don't you leave me. Oh my gosh. I, I just realized I, I have to make a phone call. I, I can't. <laughs> Would you just. Uh, be... <laughs> Peace out. How could she leave us alone with this lunatic? Ten more minutes and that's it. I'm leaving. George said, how could she leave us alone with this lunatic? Master of the house. Quiet down, chorus boy. And I'm 
wasn't sure if she wanted me to ask her out because when women smile at me, I don't know what it means. Sometimes I interpret it like they're psychotic or something, and I don't know what I'm supposed to smile back. I don't know what to do. For me to ask a woman out, I gotta get into a mental state like the karate guys before they break the bricks. <laughs> So you call. Right. And and to cover my nervousness, I started eating an apple because I think if they hear you chewing on the other end of the phone, it makes you sound casual. We're talking, and I don't like to go too long before I ask them out. I want to get it over with right away. So I just blurt out, what are you doing Saturday night? She bought. <laughs> Great day in the morning. <laughs> then I got off the phone right away. It's amazing. We, we, we both have dates on the same night. I can't remember the last time that happened. I can't stand doing laundry. That's why I have 40 pairs of underwear. <laughs> what? My goal is to have over 360 pairs. That way I only have to do wash once a year. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for dinner. It was great. <clears throat> we should do this again. Would you like to come upstairs for some coffee? Oh, no, thanks. I can't drink coffee late at night. It keeps me up. <laughs> George! Idiot! Okay. Yeah, take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the movie. <laughs> I just hit him. Take it easy. <laughs> oh, George is mad at him so. Hi. <laughs> oh, no. He got the pepto bismol. Still thinking about this? She invites me up at 12 o'clock at night for coffee. I don't want coffee. It keeps me up. <laughs> for me to drink coffee. People this stupid shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> Can't imagine what she must think of me. Everything was going along so great. She was laughing. I was funny. If I call her now, she's going to think I'm too needy. Women don't want to see need. All she'll think is that you like her. She wants you to like her. Yes, yeah, she wants me to like her if she likes me, but she doesn't like me. <laughs> I don't know what your parents did to you. Right? George is damaged. I gotta make a call. Everybody out. Come on. Do you have any apples? Don't do the apples. Right? Don't do the apples. <laughs> Lord, what's he gonna say? Crazy ass. Hi, it's Carol. I'll get back to you. It's uh, George. George Costanza. Remember me? The guy didn't come up for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I, I didn't realize that coffee didn't really mean... Oh, no. Don't say that in the message! So, <laughs> um, so, you call me back. You are not going to believe what's going on with this woman. You remember, I made the initial call Sunday. I call again Monday. I leave another message. I call Tuesday, I get the machine again. I know you're there, I don't know what your story is. I try one more call, the machine comes on, and I let fly like Mussolini from the balcony. <laughs> Where the hell do you get the nerve? I'd like to get one more shot at the coffee just so I could spit it in your face. Oh my God. She's not gonna call you back now. I called you back. She did. She called my office. She said she's been in the Hamptons since Sunday. <gasps> she didn't know if I was trying to get in touch with her. Her machine broke. So she didn't get the messages. Exactly, but they're on there waiting. <gasps> she's supposed to call me as soon as she gets home. <gasps> but what about the messages? <laughs> the Lane's thing? What if she sees me? Oh, you are such a wuss. <laughs> a wuss? <laughs> so George goes crazy on a machine to this woman. She's been out of town, and he wants Jerry to switch the tapes. And because Jerry doesn't want to do it, he's a wuss. I fucking love George. What are you doing here? I thought I was supposed to call you when I got home. I, I couldn't wait. I was too anxious to see you. Oh, uh, this is my friend, Jerry Seinfeld. I just bumped into him around the corner. So I'm starving. Where are we going to eat? You know, we could go uptown. Okay. Let's go. I'm ready. Where'd you park? Uh, don't you want to go upstairs? I I'll just give my bag to the doorman. Mm. I really need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Good one. Well, there's a bathroom in the coffee shop just next door. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> I know 
Jerry, <laughs> he has this phobia about public toilets. I can check my machine. sporting event in Madison Square Garden. For I am Costanza, Lord of the Idiots. <laughs> but suddenly, a new contender has a move. <laughs> Let me just see it for a second. Let me just see it for a second. Oh my God, it's exactly the same. What? When I was 10 years old, my parents had this very same statue on the mantle of our apartment. One day, I, I grabbed it. I was using it as a microphone. I was singing MacArthur Park, and uh, <laughs> I got to the part about I'll never have the recipe again, and it slipped out of my hand, and it broke. To this day, they bring it up. It was the single most damaging experience of my life, aside from seeing my father naked. <laughs> Primer, Look at this fighting! Don't dare, They're going to break it. Come on, give it! Uh, give it! You numbskull! <laughs> looks like he wants to laugh. Ink a dink. Ink a dink a bottle of ink. The cork fell out, and you stink. <laughs> Not because you. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, and well, wait, wait a minute. You no, no. are no. it. What? What are you doing? I win. No, he's no. it. Don't break it twice. Aren't you gonna take it? No, 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 I don't want to carry it around all night. I'll, I'll pick it up later. I already called my parents. I told them to expect the surprise of a lifetime. Oh. My mother's making a roasted potatoes. Roasted potatoes. Just give it back. I, I won't say anything. Give it back. I'm not getting this. You already got it. <laughs> Retired, moved to Singapore. Singapore, do you mean? I mean, if you really want, maybe I can. That's it. That's it. I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. You stole the statue. You're a thief. You're a liar. I'm the judge and the jury, pal, and the verdict is guilty. George, George. I've got to get going. I have a class. Oh, oh a class. 
Yes, sir, a class. I called the registrar's office. I checked you out. They have no record of a Ray Thomas at that school, you liar. You are starting to make me angry. That was bound to happen. <laughs> Oh, no. 
ask you a favor. Can I have this seat? What do you have to sit here for? There are plenty of other seats. <laughs> Loud ass. I'm going to count to three. If you don't give up the chair, the wig is coming off. The wig! I don't wear a wig. One. <laughs> she ran. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> That's right, Ricky boy, it's me. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. In fact, uh, I'm glad you're here. You know, maybe I've been a little rough on you. Huh? Oh, no. She to come back. <laughs> Just knock over his drink. Act like it was an accident. Knock it over. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. Knock it over. All the people in this room that made that possible. Rick, maybe. I'd also like to welcome back into the fold our, our little shrimpy friend. <laughs> oh, you blew that McConnell deal. I'll never know. But hey, what the hell, huh? Anything you want to add to this? Drink up. <laughs> You want to keep talking shit about me? Go ahead and drink, Muddy Sucker.